Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello, everybody. This is your hostess with the mostess. And I must say, I do love hostess cupcakes, ring dings. I'm trying to think what other hostess stuff they do. Twinkies. Uh, who doesn't love a good Twinkie? Anyhow. Andy Smith here, 31 year veteran of the comic book industry, having worked for every major publisher in some way or another, drawing some of your favorite heroes, and now doing my own thing, First Man, superheroes for the new age, no agenda, just great fun superhero stories that I think you will love and be entertained by, link in the description below. Today's book look is Fantastical Creatures Field Guide. How to Hunt Them Down and Draw Them Where They Live by the one and only Aaron Lepresti, forward by William Stout. Back when I was doing my how-to book, I introduced Aaron to the publisher, and uh, Aaron didn't want to do a straight-up how-to book, so this is the idea he pitched him. A lot of great art in here. Aaron is great at making up creatures and monsters and things like that. That's what he did in this book. They let him go wild, and I think you will be entertained. Everything is painted watercolor colored pencils let's take a look by this fantastic book with an introduction by or a forward by william stout never quite got the difference between a forward and an introduction because i'm an idiot but i'll figure it out one day look at that to andy my good friend and fellow author lepresti 2008 this book did come out back in uh 2008 i believe Let's just double check. Yes, first printing 2008. And I do have a first edition of this book. Not sure if it's still available or not. Uh, so you can you can check it out and see for yourself. Look at this beautiful. He goes through monsters in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, Antarctica. And then a chapter on developing the fantastical creatures of the book. This is all art done by Mr. Lepresti. Here's the beautiful foreword by William Stout from Pasadena, California. A preface, how it all began. This is all written by Mr. Lepresti. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see. Oh, maybe, it, maybe the, I don't know. This is like a little uh, fun story that I think he wrote. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this talks about, he, he talks about himself, what he's done, who he is. That's Aaron, of course. Uh, and then I believe there's like a guide that takes you through the book. I'm not sure, but let's, let's look. North America, chapter one. Like I said, if you love beautiful art, look at this. This is watercolor and colored pencil. Uh, just, uh. Just gorgeous. I, you know, and this is pencil rendering here. I mean, Aaron really, this, this is just a creative masterpiece. If you ask me, I've always been envious of Aaron's painting skills because it's just not something I'm that great at. Uh, the Appalachian Woodsman. Oh, beautiful two page spread here. He did. You can tell Aaron is very influenced by uh, the likes of Mike Plug and, of course, William Stout. Look, Santa's little helper. This book, I believe, is 100 and, uh, let's see, 44 pages. So you definitely get your money's worth. 
great dragon here. I remember seeing this painting. I think this was one of the first ones he did when he pitched the book. The Bayou Boogeyman. It's the Bayou Boogeyman. The Gulf Stream Gill Man. Kind of uh, harkens back a little to the creature from the Black Lagoon. I assume Aaron still has all these originals. I have to ask him that one day. I know I told him he should get the rights back. So I don't think this book is in print anymore. So I said, dude, you should get the rights back to it. And, uh do a reprinting of it came out in 2008 so uh he could plan it now and do a 20 year one in uh 2028 still a ways away but if he starts planning it now saber tooth jackrabbits he looks cute until you see those teeth troll monkeys don't all monkeys troll chapter two south america i'm going to go a little quicker here just because you know I want you to buy the book. I don't want to give everything away. Love this Gil Look Madness. Looks like, uh, what was that movie where that woman, uh, the woman and the fish man got it going on? Nah, I'm drawing a blank on the name of that movie, but that's what it reminds me of. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Davy Jones Locker's partner. What's that all about? Oh, another two page spread. That's what it's about. Love how he fades the color out like this. Your eye has to kind of fill stuff in. Love that. That fish is awesome. This is where I wish Aaron lived closer to me so I could uh, go to his house and get some painting tips. I mean, I guess we could do it through uh, a video call, but I'd rather go there. The Island Terrapin. Oh, it's a big bullfrog. Sloth toads. Ice dragons. I tell you, Aaron would be so good doing creature design and concept design for movies. He should have really sent this book around as a portfolio to uh, different movie studios and stuff just to go, look, you guys need some design work. Check out what this man does. The Stealthosaurus. He's stealth. I can barely see him. Where is he? Just kidding. He's right there. Nordic Gremlins. He looks a little mad. Dragosaurus. This, I believe, he did uh, many years before he did this book because I believe that's his, his son, Josh, riding the dragon. And I think when we were living in Florida, working at CrossGen, this was hanging up in his house. I think. I'm not sure. Aaron will watch this video and be like, you literally got everything wrong. Good Lord. The only thing you got right was my name, and I still don't even like the way you pronounce it. That's what he'll say. Treasure Elves. Uh, drooling Wolfhounds. What's a Drooling Wolfhound look like? That's what it looks like. Whoa. Got some big old gnarly teeth. This is a favorite of mine, too. Big, thick, meaty hands slap you across the face. Thunder Troll. Moving on to Africa, the bug-eyed bushbeards. Say that five times fast. He's a bug-eyed bushbeard. Bug-eyed bushbeard. Bug-eyed bushbeard. Bug-eyed bushbeard. I'd like to take him home. He's a cutie. He looks so scared. Wild rhinoceros boars. I love. He's just combining things to come up with these great characters. He's laying in mud. At least I hope that's mud. Mummy fish. And the, all these little extra drawings he's doing are just really nice. And you can read about the creature. So, I mean, he's putting so much, he put so much thought into this book, giving all these creatures these backstories and stuff. Sandbaggers. Cliff Diver. Another great, so lots of spreads in this book, as you can see. Ver great variations of color. Chapter 5, Asia. No, not the band Asia. Just Asia. Uh, cave Harpies. Oh, I hope that's his pet and he's not going to eat it. That would be sad. I like little mousy mice. I never... High interest rates in the Carter administration are to blame for the creature's reclusiveness. Look at that. Even back then, Aaron, throwing it down. Chinese dragon eels. 
Uf. C. Gollums. The Regal Griffin. Hello, I'm the Regal Griffin. They named the Regal Cinemas after me, the Regal Griffin. Oh, yes. Yes, they did. I'm just making that up. Don't ever, uh, don't ever say that that's true because it's not. The Reluctant Yetis. What? Oh, there he is. This is one of the coolest. Has him peeking around a, uh, the, the bottom of like a mountain cliff with all the snow and stuff because he's reluctant. This is not like the Yetis in the Marvel Universe. He's reluctant. He doesn't want to fight the Hulk. He just wants to be left alone. Oceana. 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 Fire fairies. Can fire fairies be the new source of renewable green energy? If only. Her butt's getting a little warmed up there. The ancient oak wizard. The Australian mud slingers. Slinging mud, that's what we do sometimes on the professionals. What's the professionals? That's a weekly show on Thursday nights. Hosted on different artist professionals, YouTube channels. For instance, my channel has professional episodes. Aaron Lepresti's channel, Billy Tucci's channel, Dan Fraga's channel, Graham Nolan's channel, Art to Bear's channel. Every week we rotate to a different channel, 8 o'clock Thursday nights. Join us for the fun as we talk about different subjects relating to comics or movies or whatever. The Gourd Goblin. Mwah, uh, 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 uh. I love Aaron's very uh, cartoony type heads and stuff that he does. Very caricaturized. Very unique. Magma Man. That's pretty freaking cool looking. This is another book. When I do these book looks, I just look at my bookshelf and go, oh my god, I haven't looked at that in years. I'm not kidding. This is no joke, because I can remember, we moved into the house that I live in right now, back in 2013. The last time I flipped through this book was when I was unpacking and put it on my bookshelf in 2013. So that's how long it's been since I've looked through this book. Arctic shark seals. Jeez, you take a cute thing like a seal and make it a shark. Dude, I love the monochromatic blues in this. You can see a little... Looks like sepia under there as well. Snow giants. I think he needs to reprint this book. That's what I think. We're getting to the end. Stone sliders. Chapter 8. This is where he goes into his uh, technique of how he created these painting-wise talks about before you begin to draw there's more art than this but these are the small where he does his uh looks like his rough well these are the design sketches because this and then he went and tweaked it more to this these are the pencils over the top the pencils he'll start doing well that's probably the final painting so this is the pencils and he does like a wash over it starts going in on top of it painting i should read this i might be able to learn how to paint so here we go the initial pencil sketch Add the details. Ah, this is a color sketch. So he took the pencil sketch, probably took a photocopy of it and worked out the colors quickly. Uh, transfer pencil sketch to watercolor paper. So he's using nice watercolor paper. He applies a base color. He's doing the skin tones in the hair. Pants and vest. So he's just talking about his process moving on. I need to really read this. Who knows? Maybe I could paint paint as well. Uh, all it takes is uh, some work and reading. And he has a very, very nice painting style. And there it is. There's the finished one. So I hope you enjoyed today's book look. Uh, book by Aaron Lepresti. Here's his credits. Uh, published by Watson Guptill, who is actually no longer around. Uh, I believe they're Random House now. It was 1995. This is a Fantastical Creatures Field Guide 
how to hunt them down and draw them where they live. So there you go by Aaron Lepresti, Aaron Wraith of God. That's his campaign on Indiegogo that you can go check out as well. And don't forget to check out mine. This is Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostest. I am drawing first man superheroes for today's audience. Fun action adventure. What more do you need? The link is in the description below. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bat First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.